didn't see you there. Whoa. I didn't see... Hey. Hey, bitch. Hey. I didn't see you there, dumbass. Hey. Hey, retard. I didn't see you there. Hey. Were you sitting over there? Because I didn't see you. You don't look like you're from around here. Ah, well that explains it. They call me Detective Tech. Right now I've just been working on a case. I haven't been able to show anybody yet, but... You seem like a nice guy. Check it out. The guy we're looking at today is MJG. For those of you that don't know... Ah, oh, fuck, why am I... I'm second person. Speaking to second person, faggot. Now, you might not know this because you're a new guy, but back, like, last year in November, this woman named Tara accused MJG of domestic violence. If you think that's bad, MJG is a black guy. Whew, <laughs> I know, right? Woo! I saw a quick glimpse of the case. I didn't really think too much of it. There was police reports and everything. I thought it was pretty wound up tight. That's what happens, kid. When you got faith in humanity, Little by little, it just slips out of your fingertips until nothing's left. <sighs> hey, are you fucking listening to me? Like I just said, the original case was about domestic violence. This case had the whole works. A police report, twit longers were flying left and right, both from MJG and Tara. But there's just, just one thing I couldn't get my hands on, and that was proof of the violent actions that happened that night that have led to this situation to snowball to its position right now. Since you're new to this whole thing, let's take a look at the police report first. That's usually where you can get a first-hand look at the situation as a whole from an, a more objective standpoint. In the police report, the case says that it was a domestic violence with no arrest. That's because both of them decided to corroborate their stories so that there wasn't actually any violence on the part of MJG versus uh, Tara. The only thing on record here is the lacerations that MJG got to his forearm after a defensive wound from getting hit with a glass pane. That's where I found my first clue. It's weird, because right here on the second page of the police report, it says at the bottom, during my investigation, I observed a one half inch laceration on Averill's left forearm and no signs of injury on Fritz's person. Averill in this case being MJG and Fritz of course being Tara. The police report itself said in the investigation it didn't find any signs of injury. And I find that incredibly weird because if we go back to Tara's account in her twit longer, she has a direct quote from uh, apparently one of the cops saying, you both have defensive wounds. Can you tell me why that might be weird, rookie? <laughs> it's all right, you learn with experience. This is weird because why would the cop acknowledge that they both have defensive wounds and neglect to write the defensive wounds that Tara had in that situation in the official record of it? That doesn't make any sense, especially considering that the perpetrator in this case is actually MJG uh, you'd think the investigation for, you know, any kind of injuries on the victim's person would be a lot more, uh, prevalent. I'll tell you why that is. This whole case, it's bullshit. Something's not lining up. Either the cop is lying, or Tara's lying. I have a sneaking suspicion that the liar here isn't the cop. This reaction was deleted pretty quickly, so, you know, anytime somebody's clean in their tracks, uh, y you know, there's already something going on there. If you believe in what you said, then why go back and clean the records of it? You see what I'm saying? Hey, you're getting good at this, rookie. Just nod your head and listen, all right? I'll take you down the trail. Uh, I'll take you down the trail. Before the twit longer actually apologizing for this entire instance from Terra was deleted. It was completely copied and downloaded to a Google Doc file. Hey, once you post something to the internet, it's there for good. If we look right here, the proof is in the pudding. Tara says, I don't know why, but after the police came, I cried and hit myself. I used eyeshadow and some ash from a bowl to make it look worse before I took pictures. So after the police had came, and already identified that there was a lack of injury. Injuries were faked in order to take pictures that have already been taken down in order to make this situation worse for the suspect or perpetrator 
MJG or Averil. A Averil? Averil? A Averil? In most cases, you just tell the truth and it moves on, right? That's normally what I do. I mean, the truth will set you free. Unfortunately for this case, it's put the community in over $1,500 a debt. Don't know what I'm talking about? We're not done yet. Do, 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 do. After this instance and all the massive support, she made a GoFundMe page. And in there specifically references this instance saying that MJG hit her 10 to 20 times. She doesn't know she wasn't counting. But this eventually led to her having a broken nose, which is pretty interesting considering that wasn't in any of the records uh, from the police. And what's even more interesting is that it was a broken nose with absolutely no blood. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's actually incredible. A broken nose and no blood? Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> I didn't think so. That's because it's complete bullshit. You're telling me that someone hit you 10 to 20 times, even a couple times, straight to the nowser, straight to the, straight to the schnauz, schnauzer, and you didn't bleed one bit, but you need $1,500 for a nose surgery? I'm not buying it. Tara, 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 Tar, Tar, Tara. If you look at this, it seems like Tara wasn't buying it either. She says in her apology post that she deleted, by the way, so if any of you are still interested, listen up. If anybody feels led on by my GoFundMe in any way, please DM me and I'll do my best to get money back eventually. Hmm. That's crazy. If the injury was genuine and it actually happened in reference to the situation and not personal harm done to oneself to perpetuate this uh, problem even further, why would you feel guilty enough to offer money back from the GoFundMe to raise for your surgery from this instance? Things just, it's not, it's not adding up. It's not making any sense, is it? Not only was this lie damaging to MJG and his, his his smash career, it's also damaging to the community as a whole. Because as Tara showed right here, you can essentially make a few bucks off of a bunch of ignorant mobs that apparently can't read a police report to completion. When I initially read over this case, I thought the police report was going to be enough. I thought, there's no reason to get my hands dirty. I'm just a detective doing good, honest work. But there's nothing honest about what Tara did here, and it honestly makes me sick. <laughs> there's one thing that's really bothering me about this case though, Rookie. You know, some people were saying, oh, MJG was blackmailing her. I really wish people would open a fucking book. Just, just fucking flip a couple pages. Threatening to sue someone for defamation of character, uh, lies, you know, and continuing to lie, upholding it, uh, that's not blackmail. Uh, if you get sued for doing something illegal, um, it's probably because you were doing something illegal, and if the suit is, uh, faulty in any way, there's no way it's gonna go through anyways. So as long as you have confidence in what you are doing, there is no reason to fear a suit besides, uh, potential legal fees. Speaking of blackmail, after this whole thing happened, right after this happened, they tried to issue him some, uh, some guidelines for his return to potentially issue an appeal. I thought this was weird, but you let me know what you think. He had to agree to anger management and domestic abuse counseling slash therapy. He had to give financial reparations for Tara. He was banned for a year indefinitely from tournaments worldwide. After he makes amends with Tara, he would have to give her all of the winnings from tournaments that he would attend for a period of time. After that period, he then also has to make a public statement about it uh, to rectify the scenario because reparations, uh, money from winnings for probation, uh, being banned for over a year, all of that's not enough. You also have to make a public statement about it. And what would happen in return if he didn't accept these terms? They would go public with his case and essentially bash his character. Now tell me, rookie, what do they call it when you force someone to give you money or else you were going to bring up damaging information about them that could possibly ruin their uh, reputation? I think that's called blackmail, right? I knew you had a good head on your shoulders. As if this situation wasn't already bad enough. To add insult to injury, the apology itself seems incredibly disingenuous. 
It's bad because this is a white woman and a black man. If you truly believe that that is, you know, the the crux of this situation, and that is that is the um, the reason why this is terrible because it's all black and white, then I think you're also one of the people that believe that the cops blindly hate black people. So if we're adding that on top of it, let's go back to the police report. You're telling me that this person wouldn't think that the cops uh, would have a strong bias against a black man like MJG in a domestic violence charge against a white woman? You're telling me that they overlooked any kind of injury, uh, you know, like a broken nose in a domestic violence charge against a black man? That's pretty forgiving for some of you. I'm glad you came over to my side and started trusting the force a little bit. I really do wish that it was just Terra that made situations like this this bad. I really do. I really wish it was like that. In addition to Terra, Guess who else was here? No surprise, it's become like routine around here. Risu stated, MJG's fucking twitlonger was a pity party and a half. I drunkenly, violently assaulted my female roommate and then had to go live in my car because of it. Oh, woe was me, it's all her fault. Remember shoving her against the wall and locking her in a closet in 2017 also, buddy? This is in reference to a screenshot of Terra saying that to Risu, but after just confirming that Terra is a pathological liar, normally, us at the station, we disregard something like this. You can't be trusted. If you're gonna, you know, cover yourself in ash and, you know, eyeshadow to try and get a black man thrown in jail, eh, we start taking your words a little less seriously. I don't know, that's just me. I've only been on the force for like two years. Oh, we can't forget this gem. Right after she releases the apology stating that it was all staged and you know, it was her fault and she's a terrible person. All this shit about being trans that no one actually fucking cares about. Hi, MJG is lying. Abusive piece of shit who broke into a woman's bedroom and physically assaulted her, then blackmailed her twice after afterwards. Have a good day. What are people gonna learn? It's not like I can just, you know, shake him and be like, you know, wake up, wake up. You know, I can't do that. I just wish people would listen to the, to the right, to the right voices, you know? You paying attention? Why do we allow people to keep spreading lies and vitriol like this? Does nobody care about real journalism? real facts i know they're not like journalists but at least fact check some of the shit you're saying like you're really putting this out here to um unsuspecting masses and they just eat it up they're fucking pigs they're all shit they're all actual pigs eating shit off of the floor it's so unsanitary it's disgusting but i'm glad you're different rookie you seem to understand me i kind of like you Got a nice, you got a nice little ass, you got a nice little ass on you too, boy. I feel like it's only fair if you get involved that you are also held accountable for what you say. People like this should not be taken seriously. Stop listening to fucking people that actually don't care about the consistency of what they're saying. You see someone jump in on a situation and the first thing that they're doing is not trying to get both sides and not trying to understand the depth of the situation before you know, picking a side to be so feverishly ag ag aggressive about. You question the integrity of that person, all right? I want you to take that and grow with that, okay? Hey, you're, oh fuck. You all right, you all right, you all right, you all right? Oh shit, dude, you just like almost fucking passed out. Oh, can you stand up on your own two fucking feet, dude? How long you been here? Are you on Zannies? You popping Zannies in my fucking office? I show you all this fucking shit for, f this is classified information. You're over here fucking popping Zannies? Stand up, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you fucking crippled? What are you fucking disabled? You better not be fucking disabled. All right, you're gonna be out of here quicker than uh, Timmy Two Wheels. We called him Timmy Two Wheels because he was in a fucking wheelchair. Couldn't get a goddamn thing done. Had to kick him out. He's wasting all of our pension funds. Now I'm not saying that reactionary people like Risu or Doctor Piggy, you know, don't have their levels of credibility where, you know, they might be trying to do the right thing, but end up going in a little, little off direction. But if you're going to try to join the force and you want to start covering shit like this, 
You want to actually help people? Worry about the facts first, okay? No one cares about feelings. Justice doesn't care about feelings. The judicial system doesn't care about your feelings. You need to be hardcore on the facts. That is why I drink heavily before doing any case. I gotta erase all emotions. I beat my girlfriend before I do these cases. That's about all the stuff I can tell you for now. I mean, thanks for sitting here and listening to me. No one else would listen to this case. Gets kind of lonely sitting here, you know, researching on my own. Nobody to talk to. You're a pretty good listener. Hey, why don't you why don't you come back here sometime around next week? We'll talk again. I'll have something for you. Until then, like, comment, and subscribe. Now get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of get the fuck out of my office, you little bitch.